Welcome back to the Code Wolf. Today we're going to look at a very cool Azure AI service called Document Intelligence. Now the name might sound boring, but in practice it's awesome. This service provides pre-built machine learning models to extract text, data, and object structures from documents and other file types such as images. For example, you can use it to extract line items off of a receipt, convert PDFs or images of text into actual text, pull invoice data out into a custom object for coding, and just so much more. You can also customize the service with your own models and teach it to recognize specific types of document layouts and data structures. You can interact with this service through a nice web portal or even programmatically through SDK code. There's a lot going on here, so let's dive in and see how all of this works. A quick shout out to please hit the subscribe button to support the channel. There's a ton of great AI and coding content available here, and the support really means a lot. So to get started with the Azure Document Intelligence Studio, just run a quick Google search for that and click on uh, this link here, and that'll take you to the Intelligence Studio here. And on this page, it's going to give you an overview of what this service can do. But most importantly, it gives some pre-built model examples for the types of tasks that we can complete. So we can read invoices, receipts, health insurance cards, tax forms, credit cards, etc. There's a lot we can do here. So if we click on any of these and say, uh, try it out, that'll take us to this interesting portal page. And I'll zoom out a little bit here to give us some more room. And when we go to run analysis, it's going to ask us to create some resources for this to work. I've already used the studio, so I'll get this switch resource option. But if you've never used it before, you'll get a similar prompt. So I'll click switch resource and either way you'll end up on this screen. And essentially we just need to create a cognitive service resource and a resource group to hold that. So go ahead and pick a subscription. I'll pick my enterprise subscription here. And I'll create a new group here called Wolf Docs or something like that. And I don't have a cognitive service resource in here, obviously, because it's brand new. So I'll just call this uh, Wolf Cognitive or something like that. And just pick a region, whatever works for you. I'm in the Eastern time zone, so I'll pick that. And I'll just pick the standard tier here and hit continue. And then I'll click finish. And that's going to go out and create those cognitive service resources for us. Those are needed for this type of document analysis. So just give that a moment to finish. It doesn't take too long. Okay, so once that completes, we'll end up back on this page. But now we have the right resources created for this to work. Now lately, there's a lot of different Azure Studios, these UIs or websites that have been popping up. So it's important to understand what's actually going on behind the scenes here. If we go out to the main Azure portal here, we can see that it actually created this resource group that we typed in called Wolf Docs. And here's our document intelligence service here. So everything is still accessible from the Azure portal. Uh, you can still see your resources there. These are what's powering this UI here. So there's nothing too magical going on. I just want to point that out. So now let's run analysis here and see what this actually gives us. And this usually runs pretty quickly, but it's going to analyze this document for us. We're using the read model up here. So this should just give us a printout of the text that is available in this document. And you can see that's exactly what it did. It kind of broke down the structure here into some paragraphs and a heading here. And if we look over on the right, we can see all of that text uh, provided for us, which is kind of nice. Now I mentioned that we're using this read model here, but there are other options. So if we go back to our intelligence studio here, let's say that we want to mess around with receipts or something like that. So now we come in here and there's some example receipts and you'll notice not all of these are perfect images. These are actually pretty good samples. And this will show that the analysis still works, but this time it's using a pre-built model called receipts, and you can choose different ones from the dropdowns here. But you can see it still identified all of the information that we're looking for. So it was able to abstract kind of a structure here. So if you'll notice, we have two items, which are a cappuccino for $2, which is an incredible deal. Uh, and then we have our bacon and eggs and so on. So there's our items, but it also extracted out this merchant address. And so the point here is that you can train or use these pre-built models to actually extract real data structures out and not just uh, raw text. So 
once we get into coding, you'll be able to see why this is useful because you could build these objects out uh, for yourself. So this is great, but you might be thinking, well, these are just samples. Obviously it's gonna get the samples right. What would happen if we uploaded our own document? Well, let's jump back over to our generic read model here and let's upload our own file. So inside of our project folder, I have this booklet uh, image here. And this is actually an image of a game booklet that I took. And I use this as an example because this text is actually pretty hard to read. Uh, I mean, if we zoom in here, it is sharper than what it looks in the preview. But because the text is white, which is sort of inherently hard to read for humans, and the background has all kinds of variation in it and it's small text, so let's just see what it comes up with when we run this analysis. I think this was sort of an interesting example, so I picked this one here. And you can see it actually still did an incredible job of extracting this text. So not only did it get the structure right, but if we mouse over here, it might be hard to see in the video, but this is actually matching the text one to one. Uh, it's doing a really good job here. So I was pretty impressed by this, especially since some of the verbiage is not really uh, standard English. So there's all kinds of weird names and planets and aliens in here, but it still did a great job. And we can see all that text extracted on the right. Now let's also talk about these tabs along the top. So on this result tab, this gives us kind of a JSON view uh, of what's actually going on here. So it kind of breaks out our different sections here and we can scroll through this. This is quite massive, uh, but this gives us kind of a structural view of this. So you can see all of our different text pieces are in here, but they're broken out by these polygon objects. So you could use this JSON in your own projects somehow for whatever you wanted. But the more interesting tab, in my opinion, is this code. So this will actually give you a starting code snippet to perform this type of analysis. And up here, you can get a drop down with your different languages. I'm a .NET guy, so let's switch to C Sharp here. And this gives us some sample code of how to get started. So what I did was I actually copied this code out of our browser here. And then I created a new basic uh, sample app using Visual Studio. So this is just a .NET console app uh, default template. And I pasted the code into here. And the only thing I had to do to get this working was to install two NuGet packages. So we need azure.core and azure.ai.formrecognizer. So you can just search for those here. So I searched for Azure Form Recognizer, there it is. And of course you can grab Azure Core as well. Now back in our program file, I'm not gonna get too deep into coding for this specific video. Uh, if there's a lot of interest here, I could create some kind of more in-depth tutorial about how to do document analysis here with code. But this code gives us a really good starting point. So the key takeaways here are, we're including our different namespaces or our packages here. And then we have our keys. So this is what authenticates us to the document service that was created. So if you remember at the beginning, I pointed out this uh, Azure resource here that was created, this document intelligence. Well, you're gonna wanna go to your keys here and I'll just grab this first key. And these are from a previous example. So I'm gonna update these and I'll grab our endpoint. And that way it'll know what service to use when we go to analyze our documents. So uh, we'll be good to go in terms of using our service. Now, further down here is where we actually run uh, the method to analyze our document. So first we create a URI to where our file is located, and this is just a uh, sample URL here, but you can put in any location, such as an Azure storage account or something like that. And then we use the client that we created with our uh, security keys up here, and then we run some code to analyze the document. So if I format this a little bit better, you can see that we're using the pre-built dash read model. Remember in the portal, we also just use the generic uh, read model to extract all that text. And then it'll get the result back and then it'll start looping through that sample document and printing everything out. So you can kind of read through here if you want to see how that's structured. Now I do want to mention that you should never share these keys here. These are secure. Uh, I'm going to be deleting this after the, to, after the video, so it doesn't matter but just keep those safe and don't share those with anyone. So if we were to run this app, let's see what this gives us in our uh, console output here. And that's gonna run surprisingly quick. So uh, here's the results for this already. And there's all kinds of information printed out here. This is actually kind of similar to the JSON structure that we saw in the browser, but now it's, but now it's output in our console here. And so you could adjust this output or this console writing to be whatever you want. 
but this provides a starting point for looping through those documents. Again, we could get more into the coding of this in another video, but I just wanna kinda of give you a starting point for how this would work programmatically. So here you could plug in different models um, in your analyze uh, method that we run here. And you could of course loop through different documents that are stored in different places. And this is how you would go about adding uh, this workflow to your custom code. So this is a really powerful SDK. So check it out and please hit the like button or subscribe or leave a comment if you have questions. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time here on The Code Wolf.